What's up guys? Today's a little bit of a special edition of a mail video because I've got a couple of things in here that I know what they are because I've been waiting for them. Can't wait to share them with you. Let's get started. It's mail time. I know what this is. That was actually clean. So this is something I've been waiting on for a long time now. I ordered this like two years ago. It's the camera of the future. So this is a concept camera that's been in development for quite a while now. This is made by a company called Light. This is the L16. And let me clear this chair out. I need to sit down. It's a little better. So the Light L16 is kind of this little thing. It's like the size of a massive cell phone or a small tablet, but it's this concept camera where they have incorporated a design that uses 16 lenses of different focal lengths to combine somehow to get the image. So when they announced this back in 2015, they reached out to me and said, hey Ted, you've got an audience. We think you would love this camera. We want to get you early access and you'll be one of the first people to have one and there'll be events for you to go to and we're super excited and we wanna share this with you. Well, I didn't exactly get early access because this has been out for a little while or at least it's been sent to other people. But let's be honest, the reviews on this thing so far have not been good. But I'm still interested to see what this does. I mean, who puts 16 lenses on a camera, but it's portable and it fits sort of in a pocket and it looks pretty awesome. Obviously haven't used it yet, but I have to say packaging and presentation, A+. plus. Look at that, you can see little mirrors in there. That does look cool. And by the way, a few of you have asked questions about this jacket. I wore this when I was at the Grand Canyon two weeks ago, last weekend in New York. This is actually designed by a gentleman named Brian Abrams, who's a pretty interesting dude. He spent 25 years making tactical gear for the US military. He's doing his own project now called Amobilis, and this is the jacket that he designed. It is pretty awesome. But some of you have asked if this has actually replaced one of my camera bags, and yeah, it has. It's my small camera bag. I am set up for mail retrieval configuration, but let me show you a couple things. So let's say you're shooting street photography and you have a small rig but you don't want to bring along a bag check this out in my pocket i have a fujifilm xe3 and on my jacket i've got two neoprene lens bags one is attached to the molly slits that are in here and the other one is attached to this ring below the nameplate so let's say i need the 16 millimeter 1.4 voila or i want to go a little bit smaller and use the 23 millimeter f2 there that is. This is actually a little more than I would actually carry with me because I probably have the camera out and one lens attached, so I'd only need one of these. And in that case, it can easily go in the pocket. Actually, I didn't even think about it that way. I've got another pocket over here. Technically, this is a small body, so it can go here, which leaves me room for two more lenses. And let's say you're not really feeling the whole deeper pixel shtick. Velcro nameplates. You can get whatever you want. They're customizable. Let's check out a different scenario. And now landscape configuration. This is a Molly attachment I got on Amazon for like $4. So we have a small tripod, Hasselblad X1D, 45 millimeter lens. And this is my favorite part. The entire back of this jacket is a pocket. So I've got one country camera system, extra ND filters. That's actually a lot of stuff. All right, so maybe you wouldn't be using a mini tripod, but it does provide a lot of possibilities. My whole point is there's always a pocket to stick something in. There's 10 pockets in this thing. The back pocket is my favorite because it's massive. I will put a link to Brian's Kickstarter campaign in the show description. Go check it out. Oh. Thomas Clemens. Oh, it is Christmas. Okay, this is another package that I knew was on its way and it's not quite ready to come open. Ooh, I'm excited. Whoa, guys, holy cow. So you haven't seen it, I did three videos, four videos while I was in Arizona last week and I was visiting my friend Steven's studio, Hidden Light. Matt Beatty, I did a whole interview with him. He and I went in the darkroom, this is in the video, and they helped me put this together and I got to make a platinum print. Actually, it's a pure palladium print, but 
I was so like excited about this. I didn't think I was gonna be printing on that trip. They let me kind of have at, showed me how to do it. I kind of just went in there. I mean, it, it was so cool. So I really had no way of taking it home without, you know, cramming it into luggage somehow, which isn't a possibility. They framed this for me. Look at this, is this gorgeous? That, I mean, it's matted framed, ready to hang courtesy of the framing department. I did not expect that. That is cool. So this is the framed final. I really did not expect them to frame this. I mean, that's like, if I were to have this done, that would have cost a lot of money, one and two. Good luck getting it to look this nice. You have to go to these guys. They are the best. So anyway, that is my uh, little sunflower image that I printed. It's pure palladium print. It is finally matted and framed and it looks so awesome. I am really kind of speechless because I did not expect it to be framed. And uh, so Kristen, Matt, Taylor, Stephen, am I leaving anybody out? Thank you. This is a book from Thomas Clemens. I've known Thomas on social for quite a while now and he's a very good photographer. He's sent stuff in before. Dear Ted, I would like to thank you again for all the effort and passion you put into making the videos on your channel. The one thing I can give back is my own work, which I hope you enjoy. So here's two copies existing so far of my book, Trees, Best Regards and Many Wishes, Thomas. Very cool card. Thomas, the book is gorgeous. Thank you. Enjoy my fishing lure photogram, Sunshine from Wisconsin. It's pretty cool. Sent by Jack Spencer. Thanks, Jack, love it. Some more in the series. These are a little bit different. Ghost Town series one, number one. Number two. Number three. These are from the always mysterious INTJ photo. Thanks, dude. Okay, irreverent cover. You know this is gonna be good. Loose cash. Hi, Ted, my name is Michael Schultz from Germany. I just wanted to say thanks for your inspiration. Without the art of photography, the zine Portfolio wouldn't exist. Have a beer on me, yeah, that makes sense. Thanks and cheers, Michael. Michael, thank you for the beer and the wonderful portrait scene. This is awesome. Nice work. Okay, next up is a magazine. I'll explain in a second. This is Carolina Shore, and it comes with a very wonderful note from Megan Don, who, I hope I'm saying your name right. Anyway, this is um, her first published photos. I think this is awesome. I'm gonna figure out which one you are here and do the overhead. Megan, beautiful work. Thanks for sharing. I will follow you on Instagram. Okay, this is really cool. This is a book that was sent from Gabriel Wortman. And Gabriel, I actually met when I was in Mexico City doing the three artist series videos down there. And he went over to Patricia Conde's gallery who was curating an exhibition on Flor Gardino's work. And he got the book for me, Trilogy. Um, Flor Gardino is an incredible photographer. And if you're into Graciela Iturbide, there is some, uh, some similarities. She also uh, assisted Manuel Alvarez Bravo and does some absolutely amazing work but I want to show you this he had her sign for me that is cool Gabriel thank you this is fantastic next time in Mexico City I'm buying you a beer one of those pulques you made me drink actually I think this calls for mezcal okay this requires like an entire dedicated video. My friend Murray Lightburn, who lives in Montreal, we have met in real life. He has this little band called The Deers, and I got a Times Infinity t-shirt. In fact, Murray, I am so sorry. You told me you were sending this, and I know it's been sitting in the mail for a while. And vinyl versions of Times Infinity, Volume 1, incredible record, and Times Infinity 2. 
That's Maureen, his lovely lady on the front. Okay, so it's time to share my dear story. So we're gonna jump back to the beginning, and this is probably around 2001, 2002-ish, way before I had the show. And at that time, uh, Radiohead had gotten really big, and they were, you know, really, um, Kid A, I guess, had just come out, so maybe my year's off, but it was, it was right after Kid A came out. And so Radiohead were a big deal. And I remember iTunes, because they were selling music at that point, or I think they just started selling music, they would do these artist-recommended playlists. And I I remember they did one with Tom York. So I go on there and it's like bands he's recommending and of course Tom York it's going to be a lot of strange obtuse bands you probably never heard of. One of the bands he recommended was The Deers and there was an EP with the blue cover and I remember downloading that and I was like man this is really cool because it was like I mean it's definitely indie rock but it had these progressive elements to it and they were doing stuff that like other bands really didn't do, but they were doing it within this wonderful format in a pop context that were accessible. Anyway, I loved the Deers. So over the next couple years, the Deers did become quite a big deal, and they were well beyond unknown obscure indie band status. So bump up to 2014. This was the year that I left the museum to do this show full time, and I hadn't actually left the museum yet. I was still working there, and they had sent me to Montreal for this conference. And I love Montreal. It's an incredible city. And I had one free night, and it was kind of last minute, and so I thought, hey, Maybe it'd be fun to do a meetup. Exactly two people came to the meetup. One of them was a gentleman named Murray Lightburn. We started talking, we realized we had mutual passion for film and, and Roloflex and, and like all the same kind of photography related stuff. And he'd brought one of his buddies along who I don't know if he was familiar with the show or not, but anyway, both of them really nice guys. And we sat there and we kept talking and we're like really getting along like we're old friends and I'm like this is really cool and so we're just kind of starting to get a little more personal with the conversation and you know I said so what do you do? He says well I'm a musician I'm in a band and he was talking about touring and stuff and finally I said what's the name of your band and he looked straight at me and he says the Deers and you could have knocked me over with a feather I could not believe it I was like wait a minute. <laughs> It was like, no, you're lying. I mean, it, I couldn't believe it. They've been on like David Letterman at least once. Please welcome back to the program, The Deers, everybody. Yeah. Back. Excellent. That, excellent. Good to see you. They're a big deal. And so it's really cool because we ended up, I invited Murray, we went out to dinner that night and hung out the whole time. And Murray is a super, super cool guy. Um, I can't wait to go to Montreal again and get to hang out. They've actually been touring most of the year and they didn't come through Texas. But Murray did send me, when, when Times Infinity 2 came out, I did a little thing on Instagram and he uh, sent me an email and said, hey, what's your mailing address? I've got a little package for you. I thought he'd forgotten about it. It wasn't a big deal. But uh, anyway, I'm sorry, Murray, that this has been sitting in the mail pile this long. But but uh, that's the Deers. Check them out. I'll put a link in the show description. Okay, this turned out to be quite the mail episode. Uh, Christmas is less than a week from now, and this was kind of like a Christmas Day thing for me. I mean, this is amazing. I knew the light camera was coming, and I knew they were going to be shipping my print. I didn't realize they were going to be framing it. All the other stuff is a complete surprise. I just grabbed a big stack of mail in there and opened it up. So anyway, I want to thank everybody who sent something in. And as always, thank you guys for watching. We're getting towards the end of the year, and this will probably be my last video before Christmas. I'd like to get another one out. But either way, it's been an amazing year, and I want to thank you guys, and I want to wish everybody out there a happy holidays. And as we say in the business, may your days be merry and bright, and may all your pixels be deep. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, like, we need a new joke. The deeper pixels is wearing out a little bit, or is it? <laughs> <laughs>